tell you where the fish are. Triple, triple. Get in there. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, yeah man. Bam. Bam. Come on. Make it clear. 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 Make it Today we're going to talk about curing coho eggs for salmon fishing down here on Ship Creek in Anchorage, Alaska. As you can see here, we got a couple skeins of eggs from the fish that we caught this morning. What we're going to be using today is Posky's Fire Cure in the natural. When it comes to silvers, I like to stick to a natural or I like to stick to a pink rose on my cures. I'm just going to open up our shakers here. We're going to give them a nice a nice dusting. You can see that natural is just going to lay right on top. Flip them over. We'll make sure we get the back of the skeins in there. just like the king eggs. I'm just going to start massaging it down in, into the skein in between each individual individual row of eggs in there making sure we work that fire cure all the way down. The reason I really like this fire cure, we got guys out here that are still running still running their king baits, they're using a lot of the same scents using a lot of the same same dark red colors in there you know and they just they're finding some fish but they just they don't get after the fish like when you're fishing these natural natural cured eggs just work that in there nice and good you see how it's already starting to starting to juice up some people like to fillet their their skeins open and lay them out I like to keep them keep them whole really massage it down in there and then when we go to fish bait we just cut them off we got a nice compact cured piece of, of bait and everything right here just remains the remains the same we're going to take we're going to put these into a, a ziploc bag and then what we'll do is we'll put these in the in the cooler and let these sit overnight up to 24 hours we're going to pull them out they're going to be they're going to be all nice and firm so after you've let your eggs cure for about 24 hours in the cooler the refrigerator you pull them out you know pull them out let them air dry this this is kind of your end result this is what the eggs are going to look like you know just keep in mind these are coho eggs uh, out of fresh silvers uh, here in alaska but just look at that these are natural fire cured coho eggs and just look it kind of keeps that kind of that natural color and the, these cohos these silvers they just really go crazy over these eggs so one of the big difference when we start targeting our our silvers uh, from our kings is you know kings normally we fish on the bottoms with spinning glows uh, heavy weights getting a down plunking bait now we're just into bobber fishing float fishing uh, we use a lot of slip floats. Uh, we started off with the bobber knot up top in a bead where we can control our depth. Here we're just running a 3 8 ounce uh, slip float with a bobber weight, a little bit of leader. And the real big difference is we really step our hook size down. We'll go anywhere from a size 1 to on the big side is all we'll use is a 3 op. But everything kind of remains the same. We're running a mooching rig. Got a snelled hook there. We're just gonna back that line out. Get our bait loop. Little smaller pieces of bait. We're gonna put in the back of there. We're gonna kind of turn turn our hook. Kind of lay the bait into it. Look at that. 